Hi, this is the first of a few videos showing the tool called Paperize. It's in a new version called uh, 8.6, uh, which has some uh, new features and a more lean and nice interface. Um, anyways, uh, this video I'm going to show you a few of the very basic stuff and then we're going to see more things in future videos. I'm going to uh, try to keep these videos short. But I'm going to say that if you go to Paperize, Paperize.io, you end up at a Patreon page for this Paperize project, uh, which you can support, which of course you're very interested in, at least after trying this for some time. Uh, you can also uh, find a Discord channel to uh, uh, get support, ask questions, and uh, generally just discuss uh, creating board games, which of course is fun. That, that um, uh, Discord channel is open for everyone. Anyways, uh, I'm at the uh, beta.editor.paperize.io, uh, which gives me this interface for creating game components using Paperize. It's used for oftentimes uh, creating cards. So this will be an example game 2022.08.31. That's how we write dates in Europe. You can see this is creating some stuff in the background. It works with Google Drive. Uh, it has some kind of uh, uh, pluggable backend, but the only supported backend right now is Google Drive, which is fine because Google Drive uh, is something you can do a lot of fun with. So here's inside my uh, example game for today. If I click here, I uh, go right into a spreadsheet created for this game. I can also open the Google Drive folder for this game. Uh, Paper is creating the image folder here. I can move this uh, example game folder around to any place I like in, uh, in my Google Drive. Uh, same thing goes for everything I have uh, added here into uh, this folder. Paper is keeps track of it anyway. Um, but I'm gonna create a very simple kind of card uh, in this video. So I'm going to create a new component here. It's going to be called a simple card. Why not? Blank component. I could copy something already existing, but I'm not going to do that. And now if I go into this spreadsheet, there's a new tab here called simple card, uh, which then uh, can hold data that is imported for in paperized to create these cards. So I can have here one, uh, one column called title and one called description. And this, I'm just going to do that for visibility. This is a dagger card and this is a short sword. And this is a Broad sword, I think it's called. Broad sword. That's a joke, by the way. Um, and this is some description. Let's actually add some long description. Let's have one paragraph here. And this is a short description. Description. Another description. Okay, so here's data for the cards I'm creating in Paperize. I can now edit the template for this simple card component. And every component consists of layers, uh, which shows some images or shapes, or in, the, in our case, some text. I'm gonna create a layer for text. And I'm gonna, it's called text right now. Uh, let's see, let's actually just go to text content right now. And I can use triple curly braces to reference columns. So I can write title like this. And then it will pick up things I have in the title column. If I reload here now, I should probably get some kind of, yeah, information from here. Something that you probably want to do when you use Paperize is to change the layer name to have it some something more descriptive. Right? Descriptive, for example, title. 
and it will then by default pick up content from the title uh, column. You could have this written in, well, let's stop here. Uh, so we have title, dimensions, uh, tells us where this should be output on this card. If I s highlight this layer, we can see that it's covering basically the full card, which isn't really what I want to do. So let's change this to a height of, let's not use percents, let's use millimeters, height of 20 millimeters. And it's converted, I think, into inches or perhaps pixels in the background. So you get some decimals. Oftentimes, this was too much. Let's have 12 then. Yeah. And you can change fonts. So instead of using Helvetica, we use something. I recommend not using these top five ones. That comes with some kind of PDF tool used in Paperize and are not fully compliant with uh, PDF rendering, but something else that starts with a capital A that comes from the Google fonts. I think this is must be the most beautiful uh, uh, font in the world. Yeah, you can see you can change other things having to do with the font. Text alignment, let, let's make this center middle. Excellent. And then we can add another layer for the description, text layer, and here, text content, description, I could write like this, or just change the layer name to description, and it pulls in things from the description column. I could also combine this with other text here, so I can have the description is colon and then the content from the column comes here and I can combine other columns as well just pull in data as I want from from uh, the spreadsheet using triple braces curly braces okay let's just change this um, height here to say 18 millimeters perhaps yeah and Inset, let's have something from the bottom that is three, oops, three millimeters perhaps. So beautiful. Okay, and if I now change to another card, we can see that this text is slightly bigger, I think, because the text is shrunken and downsized to fit within this frame automatically, which is kind of nice. Um, Okay, I think this is what we want to see right now. Let's actually move this to 40, milli 40 millimeters down there. And then let's have a positive margin like that. Now it's even more obvious that we have full size text on some cards, but downsized text when necessary. Okay, so that's it right now. What have we learned? We have seen that Paperize is a tool for creating components in games, uh, usually cards, could be other things. It works with uh, Google Drive and Google Spreadsheets. You add stuff in a spreadsheet, uh, one row per card, usually if it's card you're creating, and you can pull that in into a template and take that information, in this case, to show text on the cards. Uh, every component that you have is usually represented by one uh, tab or one sheet in the, in the workbook the spreadsheet. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video where we'll have a look at uh, using images. See you there.